optimal internal linking. You've got a website, but it's like a maze. I start on the home page, and then I want to go to your services page. I get there, and then I have to go deeper into another page to find out about your web design. Then I got to go into another page to see your portfolio and your case studies. Then I go to go into another page to actually now get to the pricing of it. And then I got to go to another page to get to the contact. Please consider the three click rule. What do we do with rule? Free click rule. Okay. Please think of the free click rule. The more complex you make it, the higher the chance that the user is going to jump ship. Okay. They got to your website. Oh, I'm, I'm all over the place. Where do I go? I don't like it. I'm going to go elsewhere. And it also sets up a bad practice or thoughts in their head if you're a web designer because they want a simple website and they come to you and they're struggling to find what they want. How can they trust you to make their website look good? Think about your linking. Think about your structure. Think about how they get from A to B. Now, the only time when I say you can break the free click rule is whereby you might have a home page, a shop page, a single product page, obviously cart and then check out and there might be a thank you page or a redirect at the end. So there could be five to six steps going on there. When it's a shopping scenario, you can get away with it because it's almost a norm. But really, if you're trying to advertise a service or you want to try and convert customers or visitors, simplify the navigation, improve the user experience and boost your well-structured website to massively help your SEO.